Hi, Martin here with another video. So earlier this year I made a video on how to make an app using Swift Playgrounds. Well, Swift Playgrounds since has been updated and actually now includes a specific uh, app playground which makes creating and viewing apps uh, even easier. So I thought I'd create this updated video on how you can create an app using Swift Playgrounds. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to need to do is get the new playground. So what you should find at down the bottom corner once you've updated to with playgrounds is this new playground called app. If you don't see it, click on see all and you'll be able to find it in the app library there. So go ahead and add a blank app playground to your library. And then make sure you name it. So remember you can uh, control and click to rename. Uh, so I'm going to call this uh, my uh, first app. Uh, I might add uh, updated to the front so I know that's the new version. So go ahead and double click to open that up. And you'll now see that the view has changed slightly. So essentially this is made up of three windows. Uh, we have our file window over here on the left hand side. We have our coding window here in the middle. And now we have our preview window over on the right hand side. So this preview window is the really exciting part of the new uh, app playground because anything we create here we can instantly see the results and it allows us to do a few more things uh, than uh, playgrounds would let us do with our apps previously. So let's go over to the code in the middle uh, and the first thing I'm going to do is actually just uh, delete this whole uh, V stack here. So I'll talk more about this in a later video. Uh, and its content because we're going to go ahead and add some of our own. So let's go ahead and add some text uh, by writing text, opening up a bracket uh, and a quotation mark and I'm going to type in my first app. So what you can see as I type this is this is kind of instantly being previewed over here on the right hand side and for most things like text and uh, other small changes, you'll see that straight away over here in this preview window. Some bigger elements you add, you may need to just uh, restart the preview, but most of the time you should see those changes in real time, which is great. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit of uh, formatting to my um, text here, just to make it look a little bit more interesting. So this is the same formatting that I added uh, in my uh, previous video. So I'm going to make it a title, which you can see makes it uh, a little bit bigger. Uh, and then I'm going to go to uh, design and I'm going to go dot uh, rounded uh, to give it a little bit more of a rounded look. So we can see that my, and again, I can see those changes instantly over here in the preview window. Uh, I'm also going to go ahead and make my font bold and we can see that over there so really simple really straightforward and again seeing those changes in real time is great so what we also did in my previous uh, video was add an image so we'll go ahead and do that again in this new version so this is slightly different but the first thing we want to do is find the image that we want okay make sure we've saved it to our computer and then we actually need to take our picture and drag it over here into our Windows file, uh, or Windows section of the screen, I should say. So uh, I've got uh, a picture of the Swift logo here. So I'm going to click and drag. I'm going to drag it over here. And what you'll see is it's now created a new assets section over here. So this will store all of the different um, assets, things like images that I will need for my app. What I like to do is go on to assets and control and uh, so sorry, uh, go on to assets here, control click, add folder, and then create a folder called images that I can then drag and I can just keep all of my images inside of there. So you can see really clearly, okay, this is my images folder these are the images that I have available to me to add to my app. So go ahead and click back on the content view. And now we've added that image. All we need to do is type image 
and then the name of our picture. And you can see instantly that's popped up over here in our preview pane. So this is where it becomes quite important to name our files appropriately. So if I've just got like a long file name that might come from saving a, an image online, um, it's going to make it harder to type over here. So give it a nice, short, simple name. Um, if your image is too large, then you can go ahead and add some code to resize it. So we add this dot resizable to allow us to resize it. And then we go ahead and we can change the width and the height by using frame, opening up a bracket, typing in width, and then selecting the width we want. So I'm just going to go for 100 and then going to height and doing the same thing. Okay, so now I've resized my image over here on the right hand side. So your final code should look pretty similar to mine. We've got our text, we've got our image, and we can see that all reflected over here in our app preview on the right hand side. So there you have it. That's how you create an app using Swift Playgrounds. As you can see, it's kind of simpler, easier, cleaner, and certainly being able to view our app in real time and see those changes uh, really kind of ups the capability of using Swift Playgrounds to learn how to build uh, apps. So I hope it's been useful and I'll see you in the next video.